Wow, you look so good. No, you look good. We, we both, both look, look good. good. <laughs> this is the brunette Barbie Paris Bandel. This is the K-tastic one, Armani Chaos. And when you're a higher, nothing can bring you down. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Chaotic Wrestling Reloaded. My name is Reginald Kensington III, and I'm joined, of course, by the voice of Chaotic Wrestling, Pat Matthews. We hope that you enjoyed last week's recap of our season so far. We have a phenomenal show tonight. Our main event, the Tag Team Championships, featuring Death by Davey defending against the Main State Posse. It's going to be fantastic, Pat. Absolutely. The Main State Posse, can they become Tag Team Champions again? We'll have to find out. We're also going to see the debut of the Higher Society of You Just Saw, but right now, Twitch Universe, we want to hear from you. Where are you tuning in from in the state? No, no. Where are you tuning in from in the country? In fact, let me tell you something, Pat Matthews. I am, of course, from England, and I know that there are British people tuning in right now. So in that Twitch, in that chat, tell us where you're tuning in from. This is going to be fantastic. Welcome back to Chaotic Wrestling Reloaded. You're from England? Yeah, didn't you know? Wow. the Academy, the New England Pro Wrestling Academy, and get ready, Reginald, for this next matchup. Did you see the video that we just saw? The Greek Freak's back, but here, right now, he's going to have to go head-to-head -head with this man, Max Smashman. Hey, don't take my line here. Listen, I'm so excited about this guy. Look, he steps over the ropes. This is a 300-pound monster, Pat Matthews. Well, you wouldn't be excited if you had to face him in the ring like Ilya Markopoulos is going to have to do tonight, but I knew it all along, Reginald. Ilya Markopoulos the rumors are true. He was Evan Walbridge. Can you believe it? Yes. What are you talking about? Did you see the video in the beginning? Of he... course I saw the video. Was that he... doesn't prove anything. What do you mean it doesn't prove anything? Are I you... think you saw what you wanted to see, Pat Matthews. But let's be, let's be honest. The Greek freak back here at Chaotic Wrestling Reloaded. What a way to start the show. Absolutely. Of course, Ilya Markopoulos is a former Chaotic Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, a former New England Champion. He won that title for the first time at the age of 15 and now he is a house of fire trying to take down Max Smashmaster here early on. Well he just tried to whip Smashmaster into corner, blocks it with his foot right there. He's on the middle rope to get this started. Oh Smashmaster catching him. Uh oh. Oh look, look at that Markopoulos managed to escape and that drop kick sends Smashmaster into the middle turnbuckle. We are so happy to have you on Twitch but I don't think we're as happy right now as Ilya Markopoulos is to be throwing shoulders and throwing hands against Max Smashmaster. That's why he is the Greek freak, Reginald. This is what we like to see. He's going to take down the big man here tonight and prove why he was one of our best heavyweight champions. I mean, at 15 years old, but he's been caught 15 years old. And look at this. DAT. Wow. Oh, at 15 years old to hold a prestigious championship. And now Markopoulos is absolutely ready to go through the middle ropes and take oh. smash. 
Smashmaster. That wow. shoulder first right into Smashmaster. He's not, he's not going to get him down that easily. I was going to say, just notice how he did not leave his feet, though. He puts him back in the ring. He needs to get right back in there. Markopoulos needs to continue this even, onslaught. Even after that big DDT, Smashmaster wasn't down for too long. And now a big boot from Ilya. The DDT doesn't, you don't have a choice but to go down. But now look at this, Markopoulos is really stunning. He's going to climb up to that top rope again, utilizing his flying ability. Oh! Oh, that utilized something that many of us just wish we didn't have to see. That oh, no. just got squashed. Oh, no. Oh, oh, man! He just dropped him on the top turnbuckle. Wow, the head. Oh, oh my oh. goodness! And now the hands! Oh, wow, he's just stepping on the hands of Ilya Markopoulos! I mean, you remember what he did to Mike Werner with that turnbuckle isla in the fatal four-way. Luckily, he doesn't have an isla on him right now. God, I bet the referee wouldn't allow that in the ring tonight. He probably scoured the area to make sure there's no isla in sight after what he did to Mike Verna. I'm surprised oh, he my fine. Goodness. Oh, my no. That was unbelievable, the way the, the hands wrist. bent backwards. And you're right, the wrist, the torque on that wrist. Oh, you've got a couple of very important bones right there in the wrist. You've got your ulna, you've got your radius. And those two bones, if they are compromised, that could lead to any form of grip strength just being completely eviscerated, meaning that Markopoulos will not be able to hold on to anything, probably won't be able to climb the ropes, and which is going to be an issue. Max Master just having a great, grand old time here, having fun destroying our former heavyweight champion in Ilya Markopoulos, breaking his hand. And look at there you go. Look at the pain in the the eye of Ilya Markopoulos, our Greek freak. The oh. Greek freak just shown right there, the Smash Master. He's not just a brute, he's not just an absolute man monster. He's actually quite scientific, which I'm somewhat surprised at. Even right there, you can see him grabbing it, putting his arm in the hammerlock. Oh, Is this going to be a belly to back oh. hammerlock suplex? Wow. Right from the playbook of Vern Gagne right there. All the pressure going on that injured, already injured wrist of Ilya Markopoulos on that belly to back suplex. Oh my goodness. Smashmaster is tearing Markopoulos' arm apart. And once again, look at this. The torque being placed on the wrist. Oh, the arm should not be bending that way, Pat Matthews. Absolutely Do we not. have a... Oh, oh, oh God. God. Can we get a medic at ringside? We're going to need this medic at ringside. Look at the arm. Look at the wrist. Markopoulos is going to be in a real, real problem. Luckily, he's using his right hand to hold himself up. That left arm is, in, for, all, for all intents and purposes, useless right now. And now look at this. Max Maxmaster just toying with Ilya Markopoulos. This is the Greek freak. You don't want to mess with the Greek freak. He might just wake up. Oh. And you don't want to see that, Max Maxmaster. You don't want to see when Ilya Markopoulos is 100% pissed. Oh, there's a slap on the face. And Markopoulos hits the ropes. One clothesline. He ducked it. He ducked the second clothesline. Spinning back elbow. Smashmaster wheeling but not down yet. Two back elbows, Pat Matthews. Not enough. What's he got in his locker? What's he got? A big spear. And there he is. The big man's down. Come on, Ilya. Take advantage. Smashmaster is down. Ilya managing somehow to climb to the top of that rope there. What have we got from the top rope? The big drop kick takes the big man down. Come on, make that cover. This is your chance. Two. Oh, not enough. Max Smashmaster still able to kick out. I thought the returning Greek freak Ilya Markopoulos was going to take down Max Smashmaster for his first singles defeat in chaotic wrestling. But not yet. The Greek freak then with his eyes on Smashmaster and a big club to the back. You know what I was just thinking, Reginald? Who's going to do my finances now? Well, we'll just... You know, use your regular guy. I don't know what your problem is. But here's the clothesline. And by the way, your finances are not looking that pretty. Oh, that was a flying mare attempt. And Smashmaster comes back with a big boot. That's it. That's it. Why don't you go for the pin now? You just... Oh, he's going to inflict man. some more punishment with the suplex. Oh, wait a second. It's round the back. Kata! Oh, my word. This is all over. That's got to do it. A big cutter. Your returning yeah. Greek freak has picked up. Whoa! Not enough! This is a phenomenal way to kick off Reloaded. 2021 is going to be a fantastic... Hey. No, come oh, on. Going. Oh, no. We, no. Uh, Wait a minute. That, we were just talking about this. Why? Does he... I mean, does he have a supplier under the ring? What does he need this for? Is the Turnbuckle Islet Company now being paid by Smash Master? Oh! Wow! The cross chop. Right to the throat. Referee did not see that. Tilt a wheel. Hail Town Horror. Good night. Ilya Markopoulos.
Max Smashmaster continues his winning ways. And what we got, oh my word. Let's take a look at that again. And Max Smashmaster just put away a former heavyweight champion in the Greek freak. Ilya Markopoulos, his path of destruction continues. Let's check out the replay. Here was that DDT from Markopoulos. And here was the big spear. We also know, of course, Markopoulos flying off the top rope with the drop kick. But what ended this, what put this away, of course, was the Helltown Horror. There's Markopoulos' cutter, but it took just one tilt a while. Helltown Horror, good night. Is that the best that Chaotic has to offer? Huh? Is that when you're former champions? You know what? I don't even want to say this place is a joke. Because I don't think this place is a joke. Because the people who have held that title, the heavyweight championship, they're not jokes. It's just become a joke. Mike Verna, I've been in the ring with you. I've known you for years. And I've given you an injury that I can focus on. I am telling you right now what I'm going to do to you. I'm going to take your index finger and I'm going to break it. It will be bending the opposite way. I'm going to take your middle finger and I'm going to break it. And so on and so forth. Mike Verna, you hold the gold that belongs to me. And you know what? There's a saying, you only die two deaths. When your body is buried in the ground, and the last time someone says your name. Well, Mike Verna, the words I just spoke were very close to the last time someone will say your name because I will live forever and I will have the goal when I die. Hmm. Whoop, we tried. I thought I was gonna win, but we all can't have what we want, right? That's all right. That's fine, no big deal. Now, in case you haven't been aware, yes, me and Ricky are not together. We have decided to split and go our own separate ways, and that's fine. I wish him well in his future. I really, really do. But it's time for me to make my own path here in Chaotic. And the time starts now. Well, we heard exactly how CJ Cruz feels following his failure in the New England title tournament. But he has a huge matchup now where he'll get to fight for some redemption. And look who he's competing against. It is, of course, the Puerto Rican superstar. Riddix. Absolutely. We got a little taste of what Riddix was capable of when he faced off against Christian Casanova earlier on in the season here. But tonight, again, he's going to go after the former one half of the kids in CJ Cruz. Absolutely. And CJ Cruz is definitely after some form of redemption here. But, but Riddix is on a mission. And that mission is, of course, to establish himself in chaotic wrestling as a contender. We know he's got some high flying moves. We know that he can uh, certainly compete with the top talent as we saw in that first match but here is CJ Cruz and if CJ Cruz has shown us anything right now it's that he likes to have fun but he's also right now focused on business absolutely he's gonna stay loose though and that's what you see right there CJ Cruz staying happy as ever he's gonna go one-on-one -on -one with Riddick you know the uh, CJ Cruz he has a Puerto Rican ancestry as well so you know a little familiarity there in the style of Puerto Rican wrestling from CJ Cruz well this would be super interesting I mean uh, Lucha Libre uh, wrestling of course is something that the chaotic wrestling fans are not exactly um, familiar with so much so we'll do our best to call the action here but Riddick and CJ Cruz are about to put on a wrestling clinic so keep up with this action it's going to be fast paced and fast flying action and here we go two men standing off against each other in the ring 
Who's going to come out on top? Is it going to be CJ Cruz? Is it going to be Riddick? Well, the one thing I love about having um, our show, Chaotic Wrestling Reloaded, on Twitch is, of course, that our audience gets to engage with us. And the best way to engage is to, to try and have a bet on who is going to win. I'm not a gambling man, Pat Matthews. You know that. But if you think that it's going to be Riddick, or if you think it's going to be CJ Cruz, put some money where your mouth is right now. And here is CJ Cruz starting things off with a fantastic twisting wrist lock there, putting a lot of pressure on that wrist and uh, making Riddick have to rethink with a reversal uh, to get control again. Really fighting for that control. There we go. Look at this. It's a nice roll through. The control back in the hands of CJ Cruz. I love this type of wrestling. It really is a anything you can do, I can do better. CJ Cruz pulling in with that headlock, putting all the pressure on the upper head where all the blood flows in. Uh oh. Oh, did you see that? That's a great bit of science from, from there from Riddick's holding onto the tights. Drop down from CJ. Oh, he went underneath him, and he's going for that. Look at Riddick's rolling through. Oh, they're not done here. Look at this. As I said, fast-paced action. Tilt a whirl, head scissors. Put CJ Cruz on the floor. Riddick's is on top right here, and he's going to try and knock CJ Cruz out, but no. Cruz puts him onto the apron. Good awareness from Riddick's. Oh, able to land on. there. Oh, my goodness. Did you see that? Beautiful kick from CJ Cruz. You say that they've both got Puerto Rican heritage. It looks like CJ Cruz is a soccer fan right there. Going for the bicycle kick. And look at this. Off the ropes. He flies through the middle ropes. Wow. Takes him down. And CJ Cruz, this is the most focused I've seen CJ Cruz this season. Absolutely. And now he's going to send Riddick's back in the ring. Maybe make a cover and win this thing. Well, he's going to... He's Look at this, he's climbing to the top rope. Both men very comfortable coming off the top rope. And there it is, a huge crossbody. Huge crossbody, one, two count. Riddick's then able to kick out. And that was, I thought, I thought, it looked to me like CJ Cruz actually thought that was going to be enough to win today. No sorry. Here comes Riddick's though. Ducks under. Look at this neck breaker attempt. No, Riddick's comes from behind. Pushes Cruz off the ropes. Spinning heel. Lovely. That was a calf kick. And he puts him in there. Riddick's then going for the cover. One. And that was just a one count. I think both men have got to realize that this is early on in the action. They're not going to pin each other so soon. But I like the fact that they're going for it. And look at that. Oh, Beautiful yeah. close leg drop right there. I like the snap to that. All the pressure. Uh, landing directly on the chin of CJ Cruz. Riddix with a cocky cover there, though. Well, I mean, you've gone in the ring with Christian Casanova, of course, top top. Oh, another. Woo. You're right. There is a snap to those leg drops. Oh, and this is a little bit of a better cover, but again, no leg being hooked. Both men being a little lackadaisical on their covers right here. What I was going to say was Riddix has, of course, gone in there with Christian Casanova, went toe-to-toe -to -toe for a long time with Casanova. Perhaps he is not taking uh, CJ Cruz's... Uh, as Oh, there's a nice uh, body slam. Maybe he's not taking CJ Cruz as seriously as he can. He's going to the outside. He's looking maybe for a springboard. No, it's a slingshot. A slingshot into a shoulder roll right there. Beautiful. Landing right on the chest. Shades of Eddie Guerrero on that one. Viva la raza. And a two count again from Riddix. CJ Cruz. Come on, collect yourself. You don't want to be on the receiving end of another loss. Two, two losses in a row, Reginald. I mean, you end the year with a loss. You don't want to start 2021 with a loss. Definitely not. But Riddick's then with control with that chin lock on there. CJ Cruz then getting to his feet and kind of breaking around that grip with there. Some elbows. Oof. I got a little bit of hair there, Reginald. I know, I know you've never really felt much of a hair pull, you know, because, you know. I, I mean, I've never, I've never felt a hair pull. But, again, like, Riddick's is smart. He's got some hair underneath that mask, one would assume. Oh, there's a beautiful second rope moonsault. How do you know? It could be hairless. I've never seen the mask off, to be fair. Oh, not enough. CJ Cruz still able to kick out after that moonsault. I see the, uh, you know, you got a little bit of 50-50 right now in the chat with uh, people thinking it's going to go Riddick's way. People thinking it's going to go CJ Cruz's way. Riddick's tried to get rid of CJ Cruz right there, but Cruz held on to the apron. There's a... Oh, look at that. Over the top rope. He's hit the ropes right now. There's that athleticism. I love this from CJ Cruz. He's giving everything to the Riddick has, and he's giving it right back. Kick to the midsection. Look at this suplex attempt. Oh, and lovely. That's one. Oh, you here said we go. shades of Eddie Guerrero. This is the second. And there is the three amigo suplex. Oh, no, not quite. Two amigos and a reverse back to belly to back suplex. Nice. Quick thinking from Riddick here.
He's going to go for the cover. This could be it. One, two, a two count right there. Wow. I Six. thought that was it. That was a picture perfect belly to back suplex out of those three amigos there. Caught CJ Cruz off guard, but no, not enough. Not three amigos. It was just two amigos. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's why I caught CJ Cruz off guard. I would say that the uh, the first amigo was, of course, uh, Jose. The second amigo was Jose B. We never got to see Jose C right there. Would you and there stop? is CJ Cruz in the corner right there. Riddick's on top. What are we going to see right here? I think we're going to see something pretty special. Oh, there, there he is. Puts him on the top rope. Is he going to tie his feet up or is he going to meet him up on the top rope? Be careful. Oh. Riddick, CJ Cruz is fairly comfortable on the top rope. Oh, there. and no one's comfortable like that. CJ Cruz is right foot is hooked underneath that rope he is hanging on that one he's got absolutely nothing he can't get his feet clear Riddick then can take all the time in the world I think we're going to see something that's going to take CJ Cruz's head off of his shoulders oh, Big no! oh my goodness and great quick thinking from CJ Cruz Riddick is in a very vulnerable position right now CJ Cruz has got to find his wherewithal and get off from the top ropes and take advantage of this I mean Riddick's just just had his cojones crushed it, and for my Spanish speaking it doesn't look like CJ Cruz though is getting down what's this a oh big time. goodness Whoa! we were just talking about cojones and it is very clear that CJ Cruz has huge cojones coming off the top rope 15 feet to the floor but Put, no look at Riddick back in and got taken down with a clothesline there's a second clothesline CJ Cruz smells blood CJ Cruz smells blood in the water but Riddick's oh there it is CJ Cruz Cruz has got to cover him if he wants to pick up a victory right here. A beautiful flying forearm. Oh, a kick Low to the kick. midsection. Low kick followed by that middle kick. There's the whip off the top rope. Big back body drop. Nice. Here we go, CJ. Are you feeling it? Are you ready? Come on. Let's do this thing. Come on. Put him away for good now. Oh. There's a nice kick right there. A little spin on it. CJ Cruz, I told you he smells blood in the water. Oh, my goodness. You know what this is. Uh -oh. You know this. This is, of course, the Six, one, seven, no, not off the top rope, through the middle rope. He made it work. Beautiful. Six months, seven, the area code of Massachusetts. Welcome to New England, Riddick's. And there's CJ Cruz, could be looking for Cruz control. No, Riddick's tucks underneath. Landed on his foot. Oh, he rolls him up once. Uh-oh. Oh. Yeah, he caught that kick. He saw it coming. He wow. says, no, 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 not today. Spins him round. Ducks underneath. Tilt a whirl. Oh, my goodness. That's fantastic from CJ Cruz. This is all over. 2021 is the year of no! CJ Cruz. He, Riddick's kicked out. Wow. Where is Riddick's getting this? Where? I am. I'm just shocked. Where does he find the strength? The Academy is loving this matchup here. What a treat this is for our viewers on Twitch. Continue to comment what you think below. But what does CJ Cruz got in mind now? What can he possibly do to put Riddick's away for good? Well, Riddick's thrown into the corner. He took that full force. There's the monkey flip attempt. No, Riddick's put CJ Cruz. Looks like on the top rope there, not the top turnbuckle. This is a precarious position for one. Oh, for both men. No, Riddick's is, Riddick's is going up. He's joining him up there. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Chaos. Chaotic Wrestling Reloaded. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh man. A hurricane runner from the top rope. Riddick's with the cover. Two. No. He kicks out. How in the heck was CJ able to kick out of this? Unbelievable. We'll try and get you a replay of that. That has got to be a highlight of the Reloaded series thus far. And Riddick's is frustrated. The gloves are coming off. And those bare hands are ready to throw down to start 2020. 21 with a victory. Both men won this. Who's he going to come out on top? Big hand from CJ. Big hand from Riddick. They're going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, Pat Matthews. What do these two men have left in their arsenal? They... Build up just about everything. Oh, look at this. Oh, he's up on his shoulders. This could be an electric oh, power bomb. One, two. Oh, oh man. It, what a way. What a match thus far. This has got to be a contender for match of the year for 2021. Beautiful. This match is picture perfect. This is what Chaotic Wrestling is about. The fans here, they're fired up. Who is going to win this match? Come on. 
Riddick has got something in mind, though. He's going to pick him up by his hair if needed. Riddick's prepared to do whatever he needs to. Forearm to the head. CJ Cruz rocking. CJ Cruz coming back with his own forearms, too. Oh, there's a jawbreaker. My goodness, that's one. That's a move that hurts like heck, especially if you bite your tongue in the same motion. Oh, oh. wheelbarrow! What's this? CJ Cruz? No! Whoa, Riddick has got him! Wait a minute! One, two, three! The, the feet. Puerto Rican veteran! But wait a minute! Did you see though, Reginald? The feet! Riddick had his feet on the ropes. Pat Matthews. It doesn't matter if you saw it. It doesn't matter if I saw it. It matters if the referee saw it, and he didn't. And there he is, raising the hand. And CJ Cruz in the ring right now. Now, I mean, CJ Cruz asking what just happened, and the ref doesn't have an answer for him. That's going to be so frustrating for CJ Cruz. I need a drink of water, Pat Matthews, because that match was absolutely fantastic. Riddick's not endearing himself to the crowd, but wow, what an encounter. The moves we saw in that match were out of this world, and Riddick picks up a huge victory. CJ Cruz staring at his second defeat in a row here on Chaotic Wrestling Relay. Loaded. And here's the replay. There was the 617 middle rope attempt. Bottom rope hit. This was, of course, the tilt a whirl flat back DDT. And this, my word, throwing CJ Cruz across the apron. But this, the electric chair drop turned into the power bomb. What an encounter here. Ladies and gentlemen, we know that you've just witnessed a fantastic match. Go tell your friends to join us on Twitch. Well, Pat, what a great match that was. Of course, CJ Cruz just coming up short against the Puerto Rican veteran Riddix. Absolutely. But let's talk about a couple weeks ago at the New Year's Eve edition of Chaotic Wrestling Reloaded, where Mike Verna walked away from that fatal four-way. Our new heavyweight champion, Mike Verna, is going to be in action next week here in Reloaded. The Man of Steel coming back to Chaotic Wrestling Reloaded. I can't wait for that. Although one thing is still stuck in my mind, and that is the beginning of that fatal four way when we saw Killanova explode. Absolutely, and the one thing that's on everyone's mind is why Tripolicious, why? Let's get one thing clear. I didn't win the heavyweight championship, but neither did Christian Casanova. And that's because of me. I am the real gatekeeper of that heavyweight championship. I made Killanova season happen. I am the culture. And I know, Christian, you're sitting there and you're crying and you're upset. And I know you're going to get back at me. I know you're coming back for me. <laughs> but one thing is clear. That you've always needed me. And that's exactly what I'm about to do. You want the smoke? I'm more than happy to hand it out. Come get it. I'm done. I'm done. Well, we just heard from Tripolicious, a man that does not mince his words, Pat Matthews. No, he does not. Tripolicious, though, we saw that New Year's Eve edition of Chaotic Wrestling Reloaded, and he turned his back on his former, former partner, Reginald yeah. Casanova, the heavyweight champion. He could have cost, he did cost, you could argue, the heavyweight title for Christian Casanova. I mean, no arguments from me. The OG made a statement. And the OG statement simply was that he is going to blaze his own trail moving forward, no longer carrying Christian Casanova in his words, no longer carrying Casanova to the top. Tripolicious is going to make his way to the top on his own. And the faithful here, the fans in attendance, giving Tripolicious no love whatsoever. Well, uh, you can't blame them after what they did before he did the former heavyweight champion, Reginald. No, you can't blame them at all. No love being given to Tripolicious. But speaking of love... Oh, boy, I see what you did here. Here is my favorite. Here is Love Dog. Throw it to me, Love Dog. Throw oh, it to me. Sit, I want the heart. Sit back down. Come Give on. me off. Love, Love Dog. He is coming out here. I'm telling you, Love Dog is going to be a superstar, a name for the future or 
even for the present right now, giving the fans what they want. Love Doug coming in against Triple Issues. Both men want to make a statement. I've got all my money on Love Doug. <laughs> Are you saying this is the future of chaotic wrestling right here? I think this, I mean, why Why would that not be the oh, future? Geez. If 2020 has taught us anything, it's that we need more love in the world. And 2021 could well be the year of Love Doug. Oh, next month's a big month for Love Doug. He's getting ready for that. I mean, February is the month of Love Doug. Of course, the patron Saint Valentine himself. Love Doug, I, I mean, I can't wait for the Valentine's Day episode. It's probably going to be all love Doug all the time. I bet oh, you'd like that. Did I love that. That kiss was for me. Oh, jeez. In Come fact, on. here's what I want right now. You guys listening, watching at home in the Twitch verse, I want us to flood the chat with heart emojis. No, don't do it. Flood the chat with heart emojis don't for you, love Doug. Don't you post any emojis. I want to see all of the heart emojis. I'm keeping track of who posts a heart emoji. You better not post any heart emojis. I do not like this guy, Love Doug Reginald. Well, I love Love Doug, and I love Love Love, love, love Doug. And he's, he's going to come up against Triple H's right now. I think Triple H's is probably going to bring a little bit more brutality to this. Love Doug, of course. Well, I think he's trying to start this off with a hug, maybe. Of course he is. Or a handshake. Uh, uh, that's a little better. Wow, the Triplicious. I don't think he was going to go for the hug. I'm not surprised he didn't go for the handshake. Maybe Love Dog should have come at him with a fist bump right there. He's too focused. He's still for the culture. Not Christian Casanova's culture, though. This is this is Triplicious's own culture. It's his own path now, Reginald. Well, we're going to see what he's got. Love Dog, of course. Now he's going for the hug. Oh, no. And now a pie face from Triplicious. He's not into the hugging thing, Reginald. I'm telling you. Well, we're going to say, well, let's see what these guys have got. There's a big clothesline attending that. Love Dog tried oh, to go in there with. Look at this. A nice bit of wrestling to start this off with. A little bit of catch as catch can. Yeah. And right there, Triplicious with a reversed waist lock here from behind. Love Doug then thinking what to do. Surprised he, by uh, Love it, Doug. He, hey, wait a minute. What? There's nothing wrong with that. That was creepy. This Love Doug tells me that he is renaming this move the hug. And that's a roll up right there. A quick two count. Triplicious needing to make sure he's on his game. And there it is. Love Doug with the hug. The Love Doug hug. The Love Doug hug. And there he tried to get him into a full nail. Nelson, Triple right. is just bringing it back down. And, oh, we swung around him that time. This match is going to be fought really on who can take control early on. And Love Dog there with a couple of nice strikes knee to the midsection. You think that bulletproof vest protects Triple Icious more? I would have to think so. That's pretty smart thinking for Triple Icious to be wearing one of them. Oh, Love Dog just got his head taken off with a huge clothesline. But come on, would, would a shot from Love Dog hurt anyways with or without that bulletproof vest? I mean, I, yes, it would. And did you see that replay right there? Ooh. That close Line right across the esophagus. Triple Icious then, as we said, one man needs to take control early, and it's going to be Triple Icious quite clearly. He is on top right there. Love Doug getting torn apart right now, getting taken back to school, if you will, by the OG. A new and even more aggressive attitude from Triple Icious thus far. Ever since, you know, we saw that turn from him a couple weeks ago. Oh, there is Love, Love Doug. Doug with Look the at punches. this. I'm telling you, Love Doug does not take things lightly. He hits the ropes. Oh, wow. He decapitated Love Dog with that clothesline. I mean, that's the second clothesline where Triplicious has planted his wrist across the esophagus of Love Dog. And now a big hip toss. That was almost a Beal attempt, but no, the big hip toss throwing Love Dog three quarters of the way across the ring. Ooh, and now look at this a little arguing from uh, well, the referee. It looks like uh, Triple Issues was going to use that chain again. A little bit of bling coming out there. It's usually Love Doug that has the bling from those beautiful glasses. But Triple Issues, the chain, we've seen it so many times. We've seen it so many times. Triple Issues asking for more. Did you call Love Doug's glasses bling? They are bling. It's not bling. They're heart shaped pink glasses. How are they not bling? Reginald, I don't know much about bling, but I know that's not it. Well, let me tell you, St. Pat Matthews, you are a truth teller if I've ever heard one and hearing that you don't know much about bling is fact oh, oh big man. boots you like that didn't you That's you like liking what Love Doug's got to offer there I don't know if I like it but it sure was effective now Love Doug coming out with a clothesline not putting Triple Icious down drop kick picture perfect I would say that's the second best drop kick I've seen here in Chaotic Wrestling. Almost as good as, uh, almost I say, almost as good wow. as Ricky Archer's. And throwing Love Dog through the middle ropes. Thankfully, Love Dog holding on. Triple H is trying to knock him off the apron. Ooh, 
Oh, that's a knee to the head. That looked nasty. And now... Oh, then... Sunset flip over the top rope. Oh, but wait a minute. Two. Oh, I thought that was going to be a two count. What? What are you saying wait a minute for? Triple has the chain right now. Nah, he's not going to cheat. Not tonight. Not like this. Uh-oh, though. Love Doug puts him over the top rope. That's good. Oh, there's the beautiful drop kick. The chain on the floor now, thankfully. Did you see the chain landed by the heart? Oh, come on. Can we get one of those hearts brought up to the booth for me? Yeah. You got to relax, Reginald. I just want one of those hearts. Oh, jeez. Now he's picked up the chain again. Come on. Oh, there no. we go. Triple H, just bring it up to me, please. Hey. That's hey, what, that's supposed to come to me. That was what he thinks of those hearts. Oh, slingshot. Cross body over the top rope to the outside. What a move from Love Doug. And yes. Oh, come on. What is he, this? He reached down. Where are those come from? Yeah, I know where they came oh. from. Oh, that was a beautiful maneuver. This Love Doug's got to cover him. This is all over. Love Doug starts 2021. No, big kick out there. I thought Love Doug was going to start 2021 with a victory. The year of Love Doug. And there it is. The slingshot crossbody taking down Triple Icious. Love Doug now picking up Triple Icious. Looks like uh -oh. he's really got... Yes, he's setting him up for the love story. Not quite there. And there goes Triple Icious. Backbreaker. Watch out. Oh, no. Oh. No, you look at this. I thought he was going to turn it here, into a though. tombstone. Love Doug. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. Oh, flatbed. One, two. Oh, big kick out. Triple Icious then tried to get the tombstone. Couldn't quite get him up. Turned him into the flatbed. And there we go. Triple Icious almost picking up the victory. Which one of these men is going to start the new year here on Chaotic Wrestling Reloaded with the victory? It looks like on that flatbed, Love Doug it looks like he might have caught uh, Triple H's knee to the face as he's uh, tending to that nose of his. Well, I, hope blood. I hope he's not got a bloody nose. He's a pretty guy, if I do say so. Let me say handsome guy, oh, if I do boy. say so myself. All right, now a couple of slaps. Both ways. Woo. Trying to take the stash off of Love Doug's face. Here we go. Tribalicious for the culture. Oh, my goodness. Big boot up again from Love Doug. He likes hitting that big boot. And there's a second one. Tribalicious rocked. Tribalicious rolling. Missing the avalanche. Not looking uh, good for Tribalicious. Yeah, but Love Doug couldn't quite keep his footing right there. Losing his balance a little bit. Big forearm to the head. I got Tribalicious there with a whip into the corner. Bang. Uh -oh. Following him in, slapped to the face. He was not mincing anything there. We know he doesn't mince his words. Puts Love Doug on the top turnbuckle. This is not a position that he wants to be in. Love Doug, though, taking advantage. Oh, no! One! Oh, the ref with the count there. Just a two count. Big kick out. Love Doug holding his head in disbelief. I, too, thought that Love Doug had the three count. I have to admit, Reginald, that was a beautiful cross body there from Love Doug. Not enough though. No, he needs it. He wants. He's trying to get the. He's trying to get the New England Pro Wrestling Academy faithful on his side. Both men to their feet. Oh, Triple H just kicking the rope in frustration. Love Doug here looking to get the cruise. Oh! Slam. One, two, three. No. Kicked out just before the three count. Wow. The crucifix slam there. A fantastic move. Not able to finish it. Triple H is landing directly on the back of his head on that crucifix slam from Love Doug. Wow, I'm shocked that Triple H was able to kick out, quite frankly. I mean, the bulletproof vest not going to help him. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, a beautiful bicycle well, kick. Did you see Love Doug kissed his own hand as a way perhaps to set up a huge punch? Um, but no. Triple H just was saying, you waste time against me. Exactly. I'm going to show you what happened. Love Doug wasted too much time, and now Triple H is... On top, put it on an offense of his own. Perhaps, What's he going to do? Perhaps Drew Triple H is setting him in the corner there. Huge chop. Almost took him off of his feet right there. This match is, is, getting into a, is getting into dangerous territory for both men with these strikes going on board. I'm worried about some long-term damage right here for Love Doug's chest. That's right where his heart is, and, of course. And look at this. Triple H just once again grabbing the chain. Wow, look at that, Triple H just, he is really fired up right here. The ref's got to do something about this, though. He can't keep doing this. And he's trying to right now. Yeah, Steve Dumaine, the referee there, being, trying to get right in Triple H's face. Triple H just wrapping it around his there. Love Doug then saw it coming once again. Throws the hand, and there's Love Doug. Big kick to the outside. The chain has flown off. The chain has landed in the middle of, well, on the edge of the ring there. Love Doug reaches over oh, to wait, get it. Hey, you can't use that. What, what do you mean? Look at this, though. Look at this, another chain! Love Doug puts the... What do you mean another chain? Look at Triple H just has another chain! Um, well, Steve Dumain taking the chain off of Love Doug. Oh my... And there it is! A punch to the face with that chain! The referee did not see it! One, two, and three! 
Triplicious steals it. No, that, that I'm not. Come on. Can, can we can we get this reviewed? Is there no VAR in pro wrestling? There right is not, Reginald. Triplicious walks away with the victory. Thanks for the help once again from that chain. Nah, I mean. <sighs> I, I'm upset right now. I, I, you know, I thought this was going to be the year of love, Doug. I'm heartbroken, if you will. Hey, it, it's going to be okay. We'll get you some therapy, Reginald. Don't worry. Triple Licious, though, walking away here tonight's episode of Reloading a Winner against Love Doug. I mean, that trail that he's blazing. I think I, I want to see. Is, is there a replay? Can we see a replay of Triple Licious using the second chain? Can we? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing him from the truck that we're not. Are we going to get a replay of this? When did we get a trap? There we go. Here's, well, here's the flatbed. That's the first thing. That almost took him out. This is the, the slap fest that we saw. There's the crossbody. You know what I want to see, Chuck. Give me what I want to see. I want to see how Triple Isha is ending up here. Oh, that boo. There really we go. Watch. In his hand right there. Oh, good night. Ladies Hold and gentlemen. Nah. All right. We'll see you in a short while, guys. We, oh, I'm upset. I'm heartbroken. It's okay. It's okay. Chase. Ava. How you doing? Well. Came here on my vacation defending this for you. Thank you. Um, you're welcome. Now I have two successful title defenses under my head. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> how impressed? Very. But, you know, we need a new challenger. I know. Yes. And you did have two great matches. One with Davey and one with Becca. So I think it's just natural. We take Davey, we take Becca, we throw them into a match. Winner's the number one contender. I think I'll do you one better. We take Ava and we take Davey and we put them in a match to just see who is the champion. Uh, you like it? I mean, it's not bad. I'd like to see that rematch, but uh, we just kind of saw that. So let's, uh, you know, let's throw them both in a match, give Becca an opportunity to prove herself, and uh, see what shakes out. Becca doesn't deserve an opportunity. I don't really understand why we're having this conversation. I don't. Listen, listen, I am from Nepua, Davey's from Nepua, we are the caliber, we are, like, we belong in this women's division. Becca just uh, doesn't fit, doesn't fit, I'm sorry, doesn't fit. Well, I'm sorry, this is a new start for Chaotic, we're mm -hmm. reloaded, and we're going to start opening doors for people instead of shutting them, so it's going to be Becca versus Davey for the number one contender. All right. And you'll see the winner of that match. It's going to be Becca choking in the number one contender match, but... Uh, we'll see. It we'll is! See. Okay, bye. Yeah, Jeez. why don't you, Ava, take that attitude with you. Well, that is a different Ava Everett than we are used to seeing here at Chaotic Wrestling. Yeah, absolutely. Well, championships do change people, Reginald. I mean, I wouldn't know, but I do know that next week we are going to have Davian and Becca with the winner facing Ava Everett. Absolutely. And then we got another debut coming up next, Higher Society, Reginald. I mean, the hype has been with us. We've seen the hype. It is now time to see Higher Society debut, Armani Chaos, Paris Van Dale in action. Let's take it to ringside. Well, we've seen this young man before on Chaotic Wrestling Reloaded from Bethnal Green in East London. It is Billy Wanker. He's from England just like you, Reginald. Yes, and before you ask, no, I don't know him. We don't all know each other. Otherwise, I'd be asking you if you know Will Smith. I do know Will Smith. Seriously? Can you, like, introduce us? Well, a Will Smith. Oh, not the Will Smith? Uh, it depends on who you think the Will Smith is, but well, I can introduce you. Well, I'll tell you what, who needs no introduction is Higher Society. We've already heard from them today. Here's Armani Chaos, Paris Van Dale. They are looking fabulous. Absolutely. And what do they have in store for Chaotic Wrestling? We're going to find out starting tonight. I am. I mean, the, the era of highest society is nothing but sparkly, is nothing but fabulous. Armani Chaos in the ring. Oh, little kissing there. I know somebody that would enjoy that, but that whole routine there, that probably took quite a long time to get together. Word on the street is they're running the rumor mill here in Chaotic Wrestling, but let's see what they have in store for us as far as their in-ring ability, at least for Armani Chaos here tonight as he goes one-on-one -on -one with Billy Wanker. And as the jacket says, Armani Chaos is Cape Tastic. 
sick. Um, so we're going to see what that actually means tonight. The outfit is on point. The hair is on point. On point, by the way, Pat, is a youth speak for looking good. Who taught you youth speak? I know. I am almost in my 70s. Uh, but here we go. Billy Wanker. The, now, you see how he's got his left hand behind his back? Is that proper? It is proper. It is also kind of reminiscent of some of the British wrestling legends, such as Dave Taylor and William Regal. Um, and here is uh, Armani Chaos pushing Billy Wanker all the way into the turnbuckle. Are we going to see a clean break? Well, I mean, sort Ooh, of. Look at that. A lot of cockiness for Armani Chaos already in his first matchup here at Chaotic Wrestling. I mean, the smile. The smile for Armani Chaos. It's so authentic. He is having a great time in the ring. Of course, his fellow higher society member, Paris, on the ring apron there, or on the corner in her sparkly silver jacket. Billy Wanker coming in there with a hammerlock attempt. And the two fingers. The two fingers salute, depending on which way your fingers face, Pat, is depending on what that message means, of course. Oh, well, just duh. Everyone knows that. Yes, V for victory is how Billy Wanker was just portraying it. Yeah. And uh, offering the handshake as a true oh. gentleman. A true gentleman. But uh, Armani Chaos isn't much of a gentleman himself as he is laying it in to Billy Wanker right here, right now. Oh. What a vicious start to this match from Armani Chaos. Who knew he had it in him? Well, I really just like Armani Chaos's swagger there, drilling the knees into Billy Wanker's stomach. Oh, Armani yeah. Chaos has this, uh, something about him. This swagger He's about full him. of swagger, that's for sure, Reginald. But here we go. A big hip toss from Billy Wanker. Oh, there's no way to swagger out that hip toss. Oh, Japanese arm drag. That was beautiful from Billy Wanker. We're seeing a little bit more from Wanker going for the big body slam. Nope, Chaos slips out of it. And oh. Chaos slips out of the ring. And it's time for a conference call with uh, with Paris right there. The oh, just checking everything. Yeah, check the facials there. Make sure everything's on point. Yep, and he's catching his breath. And uh, Thank God for Paris. What would he do without her? Well, uh, we're, look, I don't think he'd do anything without her. And here comes Billy Wanker. And are we going to see Paris intercede? No, Paris gets out of the way smartly. And there goes Armani Chaos running around the ring. And, well, I mean, have you seen that episode of Friends when Phoebe runs? I have not seen that. Well, that kind of just reminded me right there. Look at this. Look at Paris Van Dale grabbing the heel of Billy Ooh, Wanker. My goodness, what a butt bump that is to the outside there. And Reginald, I hope you never make a Friends reference here on Chaotic Wrestling. Well, I mean, Pat Matthews, I, of course, am the Encyclopedia Britannica, but never in my life have I heard of a wrestling move called the butt bump. But now that is what it is, the butt bump from Armani Chaos. And it put Billy Wanker on the outside, and there, the lower back and the behind of Billy Wanker driven into the ring apron. Armani Chaos in full control right here on Chaotic Wrestling Reloaded. Absolutely, and look at the cockiness here from higher society. They are something. Absolutely. Oh, what a brutal kick to the back uh, of Billy Wanker. They lay in the center of the small of the back there. You know what I'm just noticing right now is uh, K-Tastic himself, Armani Chaos. His, uh, his boots, they are furry. Did you notice that? He's got this fur on his boots. It's fabulous. You Once should, again, you should steal some of that fur and you can use it as a toupee, Reginald. Uh, I don't need a toupee. I'm, uh, I'm bald and proud. And here we go. Um, Armani Chaos digging, the, digging that right leg right into Billy Wanker's throat. Referee doesn't like that as he's backing uh, Armani Chaos off here. And no, no. Oh, Bronco Buster from Armani Chaos to Billy Wanker. Wanker's in the corner and he's out the corner the hard way. Wow. Uh, that's right on oh, Armani Chaos. Armani, though, he's got to make the pin. Come on. Realize where, you, where you're at here. you got to want to win this match. Make the cover. I mean, I would I would be wondering right now what exactly Armani Chaos is thinking. Oh, the trip from there. That put him right back to the mat. And K-Tastic himself working away. Um, do, do you have it? I mean, I... Oh, wow. I have, I have never seen that before here in Chaotic Wrestling, Reginald. What innovation from Armani Chaos, though. Still not enough to put Billy Wanker away. Innovation, indeed. I wasn't sure what that was for the minute. Again, being the Encyclopedia Britannica of wrestling moves, Armani Chaos is coming up with moves I've never seen before.
Quick thinking here from Chaos. Billy Wanker is in uh, not a good spot here. If he wants to win this, he's got to do some quick thinking himself. Well, one man's coming away from this with their first victory. Oh, and I'm Honey Chaos. Oh. He knew exactly what was coming, and then he just slapped the taste out of his mouth. And there's the huge face buster by Armani Chaos. Have we got a victory right there? I thought Higher Society had their first W on 2021. Not quite, and Armani Chaos as well as Paris Van Dale both yelling at the referee. They both thought that was it. The instructions coming in from Paris. It looks like she's the brains right here uh, in this encounter at the very least. And Katastic picking up Billy Wanker. Looks like he's going to throw him off the road, building up some momentum. And uh, he was going for it again. What was that move called? A butt bump. The butt bump. And there's an atomic drop. And there we go. A second atomic drop. That was front waves. And it looks like Katastic. Oh. British uppercut right there. Or Brexit uppercut as we should probably rename it right now. Uh -oh. And uh, two in a row from Billy Wanker. Billy Wanker then really trying to... Oh, hang on a second. Went for another one of those uppercuts. Chaos, though, looking for a backslide now. Uh-oh. Udonagi! The Udonagi then hit. Billy Wanker has got the pin full. His it's first one. victory? We're going to see it. No, not quite. Oh, wow, I thought that was it for Billy Wanker. Did you see, did you see the look on Paris' face? I was going to say, Paris is worried in the corner over there for Armani Chaos. I mean, given that she is flawless, I think there was some anxiety frowns coming in. A little bit of crow's feet by the sides of her eyes. Oh, don't let that Udonagi hit. Be careful what you say. And what's this? The, the mirror. Did she just throw the mirror in? What's she? Well, the ref's taking it now. What, what was that? And oh wow, a distraction caught Billy Wanker off guard with that spin kick there. Armani Chaos, Angel Wing Driver. Wow, that is it for tonight. Surely one, two, and, and I'm just gonna say an absolutely unconventional cover to pick that up. Armani Chaos, Higher Society with the victory. Paris Van Dale. These two are a dangerous combination, Reginald. We got to be careful here in Chaotic Wrestling for Higher Society. And, well, they want him out the ring, of course. They want the spotlight all for themselves. This is their stage. And, yes, they have the ring to themselves right now. Loving every second of it. Higher Society, their reign of terror here in Chaotic Wrestling has only just begun. Selena here, joined by Higher Society. You guys had an impressive and victorious debut match against Billy Winker. What do you plan on bringing to Chaotic Wrestling? It's the floral shirt for me. It's the two-toned hair for me. <sighs> Lowers. What was the question? What do you plan on bringing to Chaotic Wrestling? We plan to bring Chaotic Wrestling from trashy to classy. Because we are way above any of these lowers pay grades. And you've only seen what half of us can do. Thank you guys for your time. Hey folks, don't go anywhere after the show tonight. Bonus content coming your way. We're going to be airing Mike Verna's Path to the Gold. Stay tuned after tonight's episode of Reloaded. Well, it's your main event time. It is Tag Team Championship time. And here come the challengers. Main State Posse, they're gonna go for their second Chaotic Wrestling Tag Team title victory today here and Reloaded in the main event up against Death by Davey. Of course, the Main State Posse, Aiden Agro and Danger Kid, one of the elite tag teams in the Northeast. Absolutely, but do they have, it, have what it takes to take down Death by Davy tonight, JT Dunn and Davy Ann. I mean, I wouldn't put anything past the mainstay posse. I've seen them have some of the best tag matches in New England. Uh, they are a team that are not afraid to put their own bodies on the line to take on the victory. But here they come, the reigning Chaotic Wrestling Tag Team Champions, JT Dunn with the short hair and Davian, of course, well, with the long hair. So that's how you differentiate the two, Reginald. It's the only way. Absolutely, and uh, they're looking confident here tonight. The Academy is happy to see them as they raise those titles high. Looking for the last time, though, tonight, Reginald. 
I mean, it could well be for the last time. They're putting the titles on the line for the first time on Reloaded. They're putting the titles on the line for the first time in 2021. Um, well, I'm just very, very excited for this matchup. What a main event. This has been a fantastic show tonight. Of course, you can drop your comments in the chat right there. We flooded the chat with hearts earlier. What are we going to flood the chat with right now? Let's put your money on the, on the line. Who's going to win this match? Is it going to be Death by Davey or is it going to be MSP for the Chaotic Rest? Wrestling Tag Team Champions. I, I just can't help but uh, think Mainstay Posse, Danger Kid, and Ada Agro haven't stopped staring at those tag belts since they got in the ring there. They have their eye on the gold tonight. Yeah, but JT Dunn doesn't like relinquishing gold. We know that he, uh, he, when he takes gold, when he holds gold, he seems to hold on to it for quite a long time. Absolutely. He's a uh, great champion in the history of chaotic wrestling, but we're going to see him, JT Dunn, going one-on-one uh, -on -one one with Danger Kid here at the start of this tag team matchup. Yeah, Danger Kid then uh, bringing JT Dunn down to the floor, taking control of that left nice. leg, and now taking control with a seated headlock right here. Maintaining control there as he rolled over from the legs to the head. And you see that Danger Kid also has JT Dunn's right arm hooked in there, but JT Dunn able to get it free, rolling him through, and both men back on their feet. It's a beautiful way to start this main event. You're going to see a lot of great wrestling. All four of these competitors know how to handle themselves on the map. That's for sure. All right, here we go once again. Well, Looks like they're about to lock up. They're ready for it. I mean, Wonder Kid, yeah, Danger Kid rather. I mean, he is Wonder Kid as well, but um, we're just wonderful. But Danger Kid, Das Wonder Kid? Das Wonder Kid indeed, not Alex Wright, of course. This is Danger Kid locking up with that Greco-Roman knuckle lock, also known as the test of strength. And it looks like both men now chest to chest, digging their heads into each other's shoulders to try and get a little bit of leverage. I'm not sure who I've got here for the test of strength. Yeah, they're pretty evenly matched up to be honest with you as far as size goes yep and they're all this oh, beautiful beautiful work they're bringing him up and there's a monkey flip they nice. managed to keep hold both shoulders are down both shoulders are up both shoulders down again the referee on his game right there Oh, a beautiful bridge from both men. Wow. This is pro wrestling at its finest. The Greco-Roman knuckle lock still not lifted. Oh, a Northern Lights suplex with a bridge. Both men maintaining control the entire time at the kick out and two and a half. This is as even a matchup as it gets, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, that was a fantastic sequence of events. The Greco-Roman knuckle lock being uh, probably uh, a, a very, very interesting move to, to use and they both held yeah. that and here comes Aiden Agro um, I would say probably more of the powerhouse of the MSP um, JT Dunn certainly can go toe to toe with any man power for power um, but Aiden Agro brings a little bit more aggression yeah well you know JT Dunn doesn't back down from anyone that's why he's a former heavyweight champion but you're right, absolutely right. But yeah. could you argue, though, that Davian is the powerhouse of Death by Davy? Oh, yeah. No, there's no argument to be made there. But I'm kind of surprised JT Dunn didn't tag Davy in right there. She's fresh. JT Dunn's already kind of rolled around a little bit and telling Davy and kind of to, to relax. That's pretty brave right there. They're going for that Greco-Roman knuckle lock again. This time, oh, Aiden Agro tricking him with a fantastic uh, reach over single-handed cartwheel. And now Aiden Agro on top with the headlock all turned into a top-handed wrist lock by JT Dunn. Beautiful work right there. Absolutely. Look at the torque there. Trying to bring down Aiden Agro, though. You oh, 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 used the ropes to, to reverse that. That was a backflip, but it didn't lead to yeah. too much as JT Dunn goes back there in now with that hammerlock from behind. Aiden Agro feeling this out still. This is his first time in there with JT Dunn. And again with that beautiful single-handed cartwheel and a fantastic throw right there from Aiden Agro putting JT Dunn right back into his corner and all JT Dunn needs to do right now is tag in Davian surely she's fresh she hasn't touched the ring apron right now is it, is it, is it a pride thing though for JT Dunn oh no. and there you go don't even give the option anymore Davian I like that she is in the ring and she's ready ducks under the clothesline and there she is with the Oh, she's got that waist lock on right there. And look at JT Dunn's, Dunn's a little frustrated, frustrated after that blind tag. Oh, the spin around. What have we got? I mean, Davian has the absolutely vicious German suplex. She went for the back-to-back -back suplex. Aiden Agro landing on his feet. Backing into the corner, bringing Danger Kid in. Danger Kid like a house.
house on fire, but their house just gets broken down. Day of the end, clothesline, back elbow, second clothesline. Day of the end with Danger Kid, up and down, up and down like a yo-yo. Day of the end is in full control of this match. The tag champs, she said, watch this. this. She said, watch this to JT Dunn as she runs. And they got launch. to Danger Kid, now look at this. Samoan drop attempt. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Cheap driver. One, two. I thought Day of the end had it right there. Wow. Unbelievable, Reginald. Am oh, I right? I mean, indeed, Pat Matthews. There hasn't been enough unbelievable from you today. I have right at least one out, Reginald. And Come it on. was well worth it right there. And there's a tag from Davian. Tagging in JT Dunn. Again, I'm not sure what the issue between these two is. Oh, and there it is. The death by Davy Sandwich. Squish Danger Kid's head like a grape. From both sides, two drop kicks. There does seem to be a little bit of animosity right now, but it seems to have resolved itself from death by Davy. And now JT Dunn back in control with Danger Kid into the ropes. Here we go. What has he got in mind? Did you see that? Did you see what just happened? You didn't see it, but Aiden Agro finding himself in the ring legally in Zaguri and an wow. inside-out clothesline. Aiden Agro legally, legal man right there. Death by Davy dropped Toho. She's down, and there is, oh my goodness, oh. the backpack drop. That's got to hurt. The backpack drop there, the mainstay posse doing the work that they need to do. It seems like they want to get these tag belts back, and uh, you got one man inside the ring. Both men now come in the ring. JT Dunn. I, I think that I think JT Dunn is in fact the legal man right now. You would be correct, Reginald. JT is the legal man. I believe Aiden Agro is also the legal man for the mainstay party. And he ducks under that. And there goes both men in the corner. JT Dunn is out. And you're right, the legal man is Aiden Agro, and he gets the two count, not, not quite the three count. I'm surprised. That was a dangerous move for JT Dunn to be on the receiving end of. I mean, tag team specialists, those words have never been more appropriate or apropro when talking about the main state posse. Aiden Agro sizing him up, big chop in the corner. And the, the frequency of the tags from the main state posse is one of the ways that they're able to maintain control of the two. Snap their take over there. And Aiden Agro rolls in front of him, confusing JT Dunn. And a single foot there to the face. Again, a two count. Modified shining wizard on that one. You know, every time you have to kick out of a two count it takes some of your energy away from you so the main state posse continually going for these covers is a really smart move absolutely and now it looks like danger kids looking to do some high flying well this is where he's comfortable putting his own body on the line and jt dunn when he just put the referee in harm's way. Oh, my goodness. That's very uncharacteristic of JT Dunn. But he just swept the legs of Danger Kid. Danger Kid's back hits the top rope first. Uh, that jolt there could have caused some real internal damage. I'd be worried about my spleen if I was Danger Kid. JT Dunn is uh, a little bit more aggressive tonight than we're normally used to seeing him. I mean, he needs to be there. They're defending against former tag team champions, and now they're both in the, Now they finally cornered them off in the corner. It just, and the, well, there was a tag, but I'll tell you something. Even that tag was... Yeah, Davey Lamb was right. Like, what was that tag about? JT Dunn almost slapped her in the face on that tag. It's like an angry, aggressive Reginald. It's not a, a, an aggressive in that you want to win the match, as every wrestler should be. It's, it's, it's an anger that he has tonight. Yeah, I mean, but it's an anger that seemingly is infuriating... Davey M right here. I mean, we saw Davey M come up short against Ava Everett in the championship match a couple of weeks ago and reloaded. She's clearly um, frustrated with herself, and she's frustrated with her tag team partner right now. But the champions are on top. They've kind of cut the rope, cut the ring in half, which is nice, uh, keeping now Danger Kid where they need him. And now we're seeing those interchanging tags from Death by Davey. This is how they became tag team champions over a year ago, and this is why they are still our reigning tag team champions here in Chaotic Wrestling. Oh, Oh, the ears. I do not like that. I do not want to be on the receiving end of that move. Danger Kid then probably ringing in his ears right now. Uh-oh, now what? Well, JT Dunn setting up surely for that big leg drop. No, oh, the knees. Wow, big knees ahead of Danger Kid as he kicks out. Not enough. But if you draw a line from buckle to buckle, you will notice that for the last few minutes, Danger Kid has not been on his half of the ring. This oh. is really smart from the tag champs. Yeah, that's why
why they are the tag champions for utilizing common sense. Uh, oh, the Danger Kid there coming back. Oh, chopping both men. Oh, both competitors, should I say. Of course, Dania will be the first to say that she can compete with anyone. Uh -oh. And there is a great move. One, two knees to the corner. JT Dunn throwing it to Davian. And there is the Davy drop, the big suplex. Oh, no. Here we go. Danger's in trouble. No, not enough as Danger Kid able to kick out. Yeah, that was a nice kick out from Danger Kid. Uh, Davian hitting that fantastic uh, belly to back suplex after JT Dunn hit the double knees in the corner. And that's a better tag from the tag champs. They're starting to, to find their rhythm. They're starting right. to work together. I Here like this now. You can see that those tag champs got there. Uh, and then JT Dunn there with a, almost had that butterfly grip. Let it go though. And now he's just uh, hammering on the back of Danger Kid. Danger Kid has to be thinking that he needs to tag in Aiden. Yeah, I mean, right you know, JT Dunn and Davey N got it together. You got to be thinking uh, Mainstay Posse's got to be wanting to get their things together right now and get on top of uh, Death by Davey in this match. Yeah, Aiden Agro kind of uh, sat there in the corner willing on his partner. Um, but now there's a little bit of, well, I thought I thought we could have seen Danger Kid kind of make a little comeback there, but no, JT Dunn continuing to stay on top. He now has uh, Danger Kid whips him across the corner and good Lord, JT Dunn with all of his might throws Danger Kid into the buckle. Danger Kid unable to stay on his feet. This is a phenomenal main event right here. You are being treated to tag team wrestling at its finest here on Twitch. And now JT Dunn setting up some punches here, some strikes, a big chop in the corner to Danger Kid. Danger Kid hasn't got much left in him. JT Dunn knows that he can smell victory. Danger Kid can barely stay on his feet. If I was JT Dunn, I'd move Danger Kid right back to my own corner and keep the beatdown going with Davey and, and him exchanging those tags. But once again, a big, oh my wow. goodness. You want to see, I mean, when we talk about a big throw to the buckle, oh, JT Dunn, that's one of his signature moves, the cutter. The ring has exploded, of course. Here. This is fantastic work from the tag team champions. The ring has exploded. JT Dunn whipping Danger Kid so hard into that middle buckle that the ring exploded. Davian on the outside coming in. There was no tag right there. The referee needs to get control of this. Um, but oh no, oh, that was a good play. Oh, here comes Aiden Agro. The tag comes in. Oh, fantastic Carwell to break the double clothesline attempt. There's the drop kick. Uh oh, here we go. No, Davian! Avalanche into JT Dunn. Whoa. That kick hit both competitors in the face. Davian is on the outside. And JT Dunn is in trouble there. Aiden Agro went for. Oh, there you go. What, what's happening here? Uh -oh. I can't even keep up with the action. Aiden Agro DDT. Here we go. Come on. Well, do we have new tag team champions? Oh, oh not enough. Davy Yen is on the floor. She needs to get back to attack to her partner. Wonder, uh, Danger Kid, wonderful work to get back on the apron. If Aiden Agro can get and tag him in, this is two on one right now. This is where Main State Posse could well take the tag team titles this evening. Absolutely, JT Dunn is in more than a vulnerable spot right now. To the right of our screen, you just saw Davy Yen still down on the ground, but the Main State Posse are trying to figure out how they can finish this up, and there is a spinning drive down. This is it. This is the new tag team champions. No, not enough. JT Dunn still has the wherewithal to kick out. Let me quote you, Pat Matthews. The fact that JT Dunn kicked out there was unbelievable. Trademark. Indeed, indeed. And there we go. Uh, Danger Kid picking JT Dunn up, tagging in Aiden Agro. This is where the tag team specialist, but there, JT Dunn fighting back. I thought we were going to see a double team move, but JT Dunn is fighting back and now I think we are going to see a double team move. They're going for that patented flip over. Oh, yes. That's it. That is it. Oh, there's Davian. Davian coming in to save the day. 
JT Dunn needs to send Damien a thank you card after that. Saving the day, JT Dunn was down. And Damien, once again, thrown outside the ring. Sent into the wall there, as we saw in the back corner of yeah. the academy here. I hope she didn't hit her head on that wall. There's a little bit that kicks out, of course. That, po that post kicks out of the wall there. Aiden Agro looking down at JT Dunn, realizing they have once again a huge opportunity right here. Look at the destruction that has been put forth by the main state posse thus far. I mean, the ring is destroyed, but JT Dunn may as well have had his own middle rope taken out because he is unable to, st to stand on his feet that and well. Here comes oh, Damien, Damien again. Damien catches. Oh, the big German suplex. Aiden Agro taken out of action. Inzaguri, top rope takedown. JT Dunn with Danger Kid. And it's an oh, That's how they won the titles. And that's how they go. What? I was going to say that's how they defend the titles. Not tonight, Reginald. Danger Kid was able to kick out. This is action at its finest. What a main event here tonight on Reloaded. I think Davian just asked the question, what do we need to do? JT Dunn responds by taking off his elbow pads. You know what that means. I know what that means. You know what that means. Are we going to see a double death by? Elbow. Oh, what? Wait a minute, Jamie. I just nailed JT Dunn with the death by elbow. That's it. Well, Danger Kid throws Davian out the ring. JT Dunn is rocked. Oh, whoa. The referee did not see that. You've got the referee with both Aiden Agro and Davian on the outside. Oh, there's Davian stopping Agro coming in. One, two, three. The bell rings. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow, they just stole that, Reginald. They did what they needed to do. JT Dunn winning this bout for death by Davy. Davy N looks confused, but she remains one half of the tag team champion. What has gone in though to JT Dunn? This is a new attitude. I mean, he's almost saying, look at him patting himself on the back. Is he, I mean, wow. I mean, you, you, gotta, you can argue it. Mason Posse has what? this match. I mean, he throws the championship at Davian. Before that low blow, Main St. Posse were on a path to become the new tag team champions, Reginald. And, well, what, I mean, it, it, there is some dissension right here. Oh, boy. JT Dunn and Davian, there's been something off with them all night. Look at and, this. I mean... Dave, you don't want to piss Davian off. And look at Davian forcing JT down to get to the back. Those two are going to have words. Absolutely. I mean, well. What a fantastic match, regardless of how it finishes. Here, you can, here you can see some tag team action at its finest. Inzaguri followed by a uh, fantastic kick. You've got Aiden Agro coming off their spinning clutch DDT. Well, we are, and this was just, I mean, look, the tag team action speaks for itself. This has been such a phenomenal episode of Chaotic Wrestling Reloaded. Remember, next week we will have the return of the Chaotic Heavyweight Champion, Mike Werner. From me, Reginald Kensington III, my broadcast colleague, Pat Matthews, we will see you next week. Stay tuned. Hey, Christian. You had a great title run with Chaotic Wrestling. We just want to know what's next. You know, it's crazy. I really didn't see this moment happening anytime soon. Uh, to say I'm surprised is, is not something that I would say. I think more than anything, I'm disappointed. Uh, you know, I'm not surprised that Triple H just did this to me. You know, when the student becomes the teacher, I can understand why he would feel some type of way. But to turn on, on somebody who I thought, you know, had my back like he did, but that's fine. Because, Trips, you've always come second to me. And moving forward, what's really next? You thought I needed you until I didn't need you. Is that cool? We're good? Thanks, Louise. Thank you, Christian. Hey, guys. Uh, can I borrow you for a minute? You had a great match tonight against Death by Davey. Unfortunately, it was a failed effort. What do you think went wrong? <laughs> what went wrong? I mean, I don't know. You know, the match was going good. I was really excited for this match. Four fine individuals coming to blows. You could good match for the tag titles. 
you could say, you know, maybe some stuff went wrong. You know, maybe maybe the rope broke. Yeah, you know, maybe. maybe uh, I mean, JT maybe was... maybe JT was on a little scummy ish tonight. Like, uh, I mean, I don't know if that's what uh, you call, uh, but that's what uh, I. Can. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, kick rocks, toots. S scummy stuff. Are you doing a scumbag? Is that what you just said? Scumbag. I didn't say scumbag. Did you say scumbag, Brosh? I said on some scummy ish. Wow, you guys are talking real loud for somebody who just got their asses beat. Because me, world-class superstar JT Dunn, beat you both. How does that make you feel? Want me to interview you now? Does that make you feel great? Does it make you feel great that you got to step in the ring with the greatest chaotic wrestling heavyweight champion of all time? But how did you do it, JT, by any how, means necessary? How did you beat us? Because you're looking at me real funny. You're looking I'm at me like you sure want to swing at me. You're, you're looking at me. Don't look at her. You're no, no, addressing think, me right now. The thing about I her. I said, don't address her. You're looking at me. Do you think that you can beat me? Because the look on your face makes it seem like in some twisted world, in your own main reality, you can beat the JT Dunn. If you think you can beat me, let's fight again. I'm not afraid of you. Fight? I can beat you with you both hands tied behind my back. Hopping on one step. You're a scumbag. How does that make you feel? Oh, yeah. Put your hand on That's how you want to yeah, you put your hand on Let's play like that. All right. All right. It's, no, it's fine. It'll be all right, it's fine. We'll see him again. We'll see him again, Raj. Don't worry about it, baby. Don't worry about it. <laughs>